we then had a uh, second collision that ended up being a fatal collision where uh, five lives were lost. And that was also uh, appeared to be because of distracted driving. Friday, DPS confirming they believe a distracted driver caused this fiery crash that killed five people. But how were officers able to make that determination? This road is a straight road. Um, you can see for miles and uh, the traffic wasn't that heavy at that time to where you couldn't see ahead and it was dark when it happened. So you've got uh, brake lights and all of that that you should have been able to see for quite some time. DPS waiting to pull cell phone records after interviewing witnesses and the driver. There are cases where we can do that. It depends on uh, if, if we have probable cause. Could the driver face charges or jail time? There's always that possibility. It just uh, depends where the investigation is. A new law passed in 2019 allows officers to issue a citation if they can you texting and driving. Not until January of 2021 were we able to cite people for that violation. You could have to pay 75 to $250. If you injure or kill someone, you could face up to six months in jail. You should never be reading or texting unless you're doing it by your voice. So what comes next in the investigation? Identifying the five victims and notifying their families. I know that the, there are some leads, but we have not been able to 100% uh, verify uh, all of that yet. That driver had no significant injuries, and although DPS says distracted driving is to blame, they have not yet filed any charges. Of course, I'll keep you updated if that changes. Live tonight, I'm Sarah Robinson for Arizona's Family. Sarah, thank you. A 70-year-old woman.